This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. It's September 25th, Detroit, Michigan. It's Joe Louis Arena. Early in the night, the Horsemen, you, Tully, and Lex took on Dusty and the Road Warriors inside a steel cage as part of a double main event. The Horsemen lost this one, and unfortunately for the Horsemen, things didn't get better because in the main event, the Nature Boy Ric Flair lost his NWA world title when Ronnie Garvin finally beat him with a sunset flip off the top rope. This match was also inside that steel cage. And uh, after the bout, Dusty Rhodes, and you had Barry Windham and Nikita and Sting and Ricky and Robert, everybody comes in to celebrate with Garvin. David Crockett conducts an in-ring interview with Garvin. And my goodness, we have a brand new world's champion holding that big gold belt, Ron Garvin. What do you remember about that moment, that switch? He earned it. He got over first, and then, you know, sometimes the mistake has been over the years, different companies, you you put a, the world title on a guy hoping he'll get over, which is bass backwards. You wait till a guy gets over, and then you make him a champion. And that's what we did with Ronnie, and he is as credible, and I will go on record as saying had a lot of 20-minute matches with Ronnie. He was as credible and believable in that ring as anybody. And it was just slug it out, swap holes, chain wrestling, wrestler. He wasn't a, a big high spot guy. That sunset flip off the top is probably the one of the highest flying things that he ever did. And he won the world title with it. So he was very credible as a champion. And you can never take that away from him. He was the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion and will forever stand the test of time. Check. That next that next uh, day on World Championship Wrestling on September 26th, you took on Art Pritz, beating him with the Gourd Buster in short order. Following the match, he had a few things to say. And after his uh, enhancement match, Tully cuts a promo at the desk where he is interrupted by Jim Crockett. And you're a part of this interview, and I want to take it a list, take uh, take us there so we can listen to it. It's our last clip of the week. It's you, Tully, when Jim Crockett decides to interrupt. Okay, fans, there it is, the symbol of the four horsemen. Tully Blanchard, the winner of the event with a slingshot suplex over the menace. And earlier we had seen Arn Anderson. And Arn Anderson came out with that gourd buster and won his match. As we said before, the four horsemen are still together. And Tully Blanchard with another great win right here on the Superstation. You know, Tony Schiavone, I was listening earlier on a Meyer, Ricky Morton, I want, I want, I want. People with belts around the ring, beat you up. Ricky Morton is 1987. It's not going to happen. I'm an ultimate wrestler. You want to wrestle me? Anytime, any place. But you've got to remember, that was done not personally. Excuse me, Mr. Jim Crockett is out here. Mr. Crockett? What, do you got another check to cancel or something? Uh, no check to cancel. i got a proverbial good news and bad news for you. The good news is on October the 18th, the fans in the Omni will get to see Tully Blanchard wrestle. Okay. The bad news for Tully Blanchard, it will be in a lumberjack, and the lumberjack will have belts. Well, that really is what Ricky what Morton was talking. He said that the lumberjacks at the Omni on the 18th will have belts around the ring when you go up against uh, Ricky, I guess. Can you believe that? Belts! The leather straps. What happened to wrestling? Wrestling's on the marquee. Says nothing about lumberjack matches. We group. Okay. Mr. Crockett. Okay. Right. Cancel chicks. Okay. Dusty Rhodes. Money above. It all fits together now. Let's please take the horsemen down. They're getting too big for their britches, huh? Well, that's fine. You want lumberjacks? Bring belts. Mr. Crockett, you be one of the lumberjacks. You come down there with a big belt. Because I'm going to throw Ricky Morton right in your lap. And the one thing you don't think about, Ricky Morton, the lumberjack belt match. Everybody that gets thrown in the ring gets ripped like I just did to you on national television. Ripped you like you were a little boy. Now, Ricky Morton, you think about it. Because when it's all over in the Omni or any place else, I'm going to whip you. Arn's going to be whipping you. He'll be out there with a belt. And we're going to take you down, and then the championships are ours. It's been your pleasure, as usual. We're coming right back. Uh, love that line. It's been your pleasure, as usual. It says wrestling on the marquee. I love that line too, Arn. That could work for so so much during today's era. It says wrestling on the marquee. 
Well, for that time, that's exactly what it was. And Jim Crockett came down and made a uh, basically a statement of what the match was going to be. And if you didn't put it over, if it didn't act like it bothered you, then what was the need to do it? That was the reason for selling it, making it a big deal, you know, getting a little nervous about it. And uh, that's the way he conducted business. I mean, he was the the owner of the company. It had to have iron in his words. Well, Arn, September 28th, we're at the end of the month from the Memorial Stadium in Greensville, South, Greenville, South Carolina. You took on NWA world champion Ron Garvin in a losing effort. You've mentioned the toughness and pace that Garvin wrestled with in the past. In your opinion, in 1987, when he's the champion, was Ronnie at the top of his game, or was there a time he would have even been more difficult to handle? No, I think he was. I mean, when you have a big win like that to hang your hat on, and his work was never better, you know, he was in great shape. I think that would, if you go back and ask him, that was probably the pinnacle of his career. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.